impedance is the opposition that a component presents to the electrical current flowing through it. It is denoted by the letter Z, and is measured in ohms. Impedance is made of two parts, resistance and reactance. Resistance, symbolized by the letter R, is present in components that are resistive, most notably resistors. The impedance of a resistor is independent of the signal frequency and can appear both in AC and DC circuits. Reactance exists in two forms capacitive and inductive, as in capacitors and inductors. It is represented by the letter X, capacitance by C, and inductance by L. It is only present in AC circuits. Reactance can be viewed as the instantaneous resistance of an AC circuit. The impedance of a resistor is constant and independent of frequency. The impedance of a capacitor is 1 over 2 pi fc, where c is the capacitance value, and f is the signal frequency. The impedance of a capacitor approaches infinity at dc and becomes smaller as the frequency increases. The impedance of an inductor is 2 pi fl where l is the inductance value. The impedance of an inductor is zero at DC and becomes bigger as the signal frequency increases. This graph summarizes the impedance behavior of resistors staying constant, capacitors falling, and inductors rising, with increasing frequency. Ohm's law defined as V over Z, calculates the current for the AC circuits. Impedance only affects the magnitude of the current in its resistive form. It additionally results in a phase shift between the voltage across a component and the current through it in capacitive and inductive forms. To formulate the impedance of a series resistor and inductor or capacitor circuit, we introduce a two-dimensional plane, known as the complex impedance plane. In this plane, the resistive impedance falls on the positive x-axis, inductive impedance on the positive and capacitive impedance on the negative y-axis. From the plane both the impedance magnitude and its phase symbolized by theta can be calculated easily. Note that theta is zero for an ideal resistor, 90 degrees for an inductor, and minus 90 degrees for a capacitor. In this simple circuit, the magnitude of Vz is proportional to Vs in accordance to the voltage divider rule. If Z is purely resistive, Vr is constant. If Z is purely capacitive, at DC its impedance approaches infinity, the capacitor acts as an open circuit, and VC becomes equal to Vs. If Z is purely conductive, at DC it is essentially a short resulting in a zero volts across L. Now let's connect Vs to a sine wave signal. Using an analog arts SF880 oscilloscope, we monitor Vs on channel 1 in yellow, and VR2 on channel 2 in blue while increasing the signal frequency. Channel 1 and 2 signals are always in phase, resistance does not affect the phase of the current in an AC circuit. And the AC amplitude of VR2 remains constant. In an RC circuit VC is equal or less than VS, and lags it by a phase between 0 to 90 degrees. At DC these signals have the same value. As the signal frequency increases the reactance of the capacitor decreases resulting in a smaller VC and a bigger lag. Eventually, the phase reaches minus 90 degrees and the amplitude becomes insignificant. In an RL circuit, VL leads the source by a phase between 0 to 90 degrees with its amplitude equal or less than VS. At DC the inductor acts as a short. As the frequency and so the impedance of the inductor increases VL becomes bigger and the phase becomes smaller. Eventually, both signals become identical. A sweep frequency response analyzer can be used to verify the behavior of the RC circuit. In this plot, the yellow line represents the amplitude and the blue line shows the phase response of the circuit. The plot for an RL circuit also verifies the fact that the impedance of an inductor increases with frequency. The frequency response plot of a voltage divider displays two flat lines since resistors stay at a constant independent of signal frequency. 
A number of online tools help users calculate magnitude and phase of circuits. Understanding the impedance of various components help us appreciate their applications. For example a simple LC circuit is often used to clean noisy power lines. As the impedance of the inductor increases at the transitional edges, it blocks higher frequency signals to pass through. For this reason an inductor is sometimes referred to as a choke. The capacitor also helps reducing higher frequency signals by passing them to the ground. In this configuration the capacitor is referred to as a bypass capacitor. An ideal square wave is composed of infinite number of sine waves. The frequency spectrum of a square wave displays some of these components as signal harmonics. Vs and Vr of the voltage divider show similar transitional characteristics. However since a capacitor impedance drops down at higher frequencies, these transitional edges slow down for the RC circuit. The higher frequency components disappear from the spectrum plot as a result. On the other hand the transition edges of VL of the RL circuit are sharp as the inductive impedance nears zero. And since the impedance of the inductor approaches zero at these edges, it adds heavy load on the signal which in turn disturbs the source VS. Thank you for watching.